Have you ever heard of the book, The Little Engine That Could? It was written way back in the 1930s to teach children optimism and positive thinking. The only trouble is the pattern that it uses is not effective. It's wrong. There's patterns to everything in life. And there's patterns to our emotions. And there's patterns to happiness. The study of the patterns that make us happy is called patterning. It's a positive psychology. And we're going to use patterning to look at the patterns in the story to see if they're effective. And we're going to use patterning to understand the thought patterns that will make us happy. No big deal. We only have two real patterns to look at to understand. One is collapse, the other is flow. Collapse is that knot you feel in your stomach when you get unhappy. Flow is that feeling of well-being you have, the feeling of energy that flows through you when you're feeling great. These are going to be our two standards to evaluate this book. Now, we all know the book, The Little Engine That Could. It's a story about an engine that had to pull a circus train up and over a pass so the children in the next town could experience the circus. Well, for whatever reason, all the other engines, the big engines, refused to pull the train over the pass. So it was left to the little engine. And he did it. And the way he did it was by using positive thoughts. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Well, I don't have any problems with the story itself. I think it's cute. I do have a problem, though, with the strategy. I think I can. It doesn't work. The first problem I have with this strategy is it's not sustainable. I can is based on willpower. I can, I can, I can. Well, willpower is kind of like my car battery. It's great to get my car started, but I can't rely on the power that's in my car battery to really drive me around the neighborhood. It's just not enough. The second problem I have with this strategy, I can, is that it pushes us more than pulls us. See, our goals, to reach our goals, we'll either push ourselves to the goal or the goal will be so attractive that it'll pull us to the goal. Pushing us comes from inside. Pulling us comes from outside. And as you can see, when we're pushed, it leads more to collapse. But when we're pulled, it leads to happiness or flow. The second problem I have with this strategy is how the brain works. When I think to myself, I can, there's a counter thought that also comes to my mind saying, I can't. It's like Newton's law of motion, where he says, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. Well, when my mind has these two thoughts battling inside, it creates a double-mindedness inside myself. That double-mindedness, can, can't, can, can't, can, can't, can, can, creates a collapse. So if positive thought is not going to work as a great strategy, then what will? What can we think about? Well, I want to suggest positive intentions are a much better strategy. Let's go back and look at the little engine and look at what was his positive intention. Well, he wanted to pull the train over the pass to get to the circus to the children so the children would be happy. Well, what if that was his driving thought? Happy children, happy children, happy children two things would happen. One, he wouldn't have the negative thought, oh, damn children. It would never happen because he's focusing on his intention, not on his ability. And two, the goal would be more compelling. Instead of pushing himself, I can't, I can't, he's now pulled himself to this attractive goal of, I want to see happy children. See, flow Happiness has two parts to it. The first part of it is that our energy, our thoughts are fairly up and not collapsed. But the second part of what makes flow 
is that we're focusing outward on something greater than ourselves. Positive intention, or purpose, does just that. It gives us the two elements that we need to create flow in our lives. Positive thinking. So let me be more practical and look at the positive thoughts that I've used in my life. When I started this journey understanding happiness, I used to have the positive intention of I choose to be happy, I choose to be happy. As time went on, I really discovered that that thought I choose really created kind of a willpower push and it wasn't very effective. The other part, to be happy, be happy, was always about me. And that too created a collapse and wasn't effective. So I've modified my intention. My intention every day, all day, and I hope it's yours too, is I am bringing happiness. I'm bringing happiness to myself so I can bring happiness to others. Those two parts create the sense of flow and create a sense of happiness. And I hope you adopt those too as well. I'm Brett Williams, and you have been learning about patterning, a new positive psychology. Take care.